A health expert says from tests conducted at the Philippine Genome Center, the BA.5 Omicron subvariant is now the most dominant with 85% of samples yielding such results. Meanwhile, health authorities continue to monitor other Omicron subvariant cases while also keeping an eye out for monkeypox. Jillian Geronimo tells us more. The BA.5 Omicron remains to be the predominant subvariant among the COVID-19 cases detected in the country. Philippine Genome Center Executive Director Cynthia Saloma said the BA.5 subvariant comprises 85% of the sequencing samples they received, while some BA.4 and BA.2.12.1 are in the rest of the mix. Ang B.5 po talaga is the most uh, predominant um, sample or variant that we are sequencing in the Philippines. All in all, we can probably say that this current wave is really the B.8.5 wave po dito sa ating bansa. Saloma also disclosed they have yet to detect additional cases of the new BA.2.75 subvariant aside from the first two cases confirmed by the Department of Health last Friday. According to infectious disease expert Dr. Edsel Salvagna, the BA.2.75 Omicron subvariant is not being considered a new variant of concern. Thus, it is not a cause for alarm. Hindi po talaga dapat tayo magpanik sa bawat bagong iteration ni mga Omicron. Important to continue to monitor it closely, uh, but do not panic sa ngayon na ng evidence that it's taking over. Based on the initial projections of the Okta Research Group, the COVID-19 surge should have lasted only two months or until the end of July, but it might extend to four or five months due to the added effects of the BA.2.75 as well as the waning immunity of individuals who have yet to get a booster shot. Right now, it's looking like it's, it will last up to four or five months, uh, well into the per uh, months. Pero yung ano, wave natin, it's possible na prolonged na siya because of maybe the effects of yung 2.75 that is causing uh, additional uh, infections. Meantime, Okta stated the COVID-19 reproduction number in Metro Manila remains at 1.23, while its average daily attack rate is at 8.75 below the cutoff of 18. The positivity rate of the region is at 17.5%, slightly higher than the 15.5% recorded last week. Despite this, the hospital utilization rate in the country remains low. On another note, the PGC disclosed that all suspected monkeypox samples sent to them all tested negative in the polymerase chain reaction test conducted. Through shotgun metagenomic sequencing, the PGC found traces of the virus that causes chicken pox in children and shingles in adults, but no traces of the monkeypox virus. Jillian Hieronimo, For The Nation.